the visionaries of the past can be seen today as the traditions of the club are passed down through the century. They can be seen on the tea boxes, felt on the masterful greens, and experienced in the camaraderie of the clubhouse. For 100 years, the Naperville Country Club has established a reputation for fabulous golf, great social life, and its allegiance to the local community. In 1921, Naperville Country Club opened as a nine-hole golf course with 122 charter members. Crayler Manufacturing Company became the first corporate member. Spurred by golf's national popularity, growth of the club was rapid, and the nation's most prolific golf course architect, Tom Bendelow, traveled to Naperville to lay out the first four holes in 1922. Soon, plans were underway for the full 18 holes, which opened with great excitement in 1927. They built a new clubhouse in the early 50s, and I joined shortly after that, and it cost me $100 for the initiation fee and $100 for the year. It had um, a lot of panache. It was the focal place of Naperville. In addition to being a great dining spot, it also uh, was a fun place. We had bands and dancing regularly, at least once a month. We would eat out here a couple times a week, and the dances that we had, it was just, it was 100% our, our total social life. The course back then was, was different than it is now. It was uh, shorter, it was narrow, it had um, no first cut and three inch rough all the time, which was pretty tough. The original seed land was purchased from Delcara Slate, who became the first female member and set the stage for many great women golfers to follow, including one of the club's best, Joe Sandburn. With 22 women's club championships that included 14 consecutive wins, her record and skill was remarkable. Equally impressive on the golf course was Vern McGonigal, he won his first club championship in 1979 and added eight more in a nine-year span. Upon his passing, the club established the Vern McGonigal High School Tournament. When my son uh, was on the high school golf team, he played in the McGonigal Championship here every year for four years. I think that's one of the great things about Naperville Country Club is how we've embraced the, the high schools. As the club entered the 21st century, members put forth a bold idea. Create a new master plan that would bring the course up to United States Golf Association standards. Golf course architect Steve Forrest's design turned the course 180 degrees and ultimately created the stunning and challenging course you see today. Shortly thereafter, when completed, named the best uh, new renovation for golf courses in the United States that year when it was completed. It was a good golf course before, it's a great golf course now. We really want to embrace Naperville because we have been here for such a long time. We're the oldest course in Naperville. We had the Ladies Mac Championship here a couple years ago. We've had some USGA uh, qualifying events here. North Central Golf Team practices here as well too. We've always been here for Naperville. We want to do everything we can to embrace the community. Men, women, races, I mean, ages. It's a very accepting crowd. When you look at this place versus others, I think you'll find a level of diversity here that maybe other clubs don't have. As the club enters its next century, it does so with an eye to the greater world around it and welcomes all to the joys of golf and its community. In 2019, the members made another bold decision to outsource their management team. Troon is an industry-leading professional golf club management company. They provide members extraordinary service inside and out of the clubhouse. And so far the experience has been really good. They'll do a lot better job than we did using general managers before because the expertise they bring to the table is far superior than any one manager could be. 
the value and the, the, the people that I've gotten to know and, and just some wonderful, wonderful families and, and folks that uh, have probably wouldn't have met otherwise that I've met through being here. It's like a little paradise inside of where you live.